This is my tree, because every Damanhurian citizen, they choose a tree to which they connect. And so it's like a, it's like a plant friend. And I just chose mine. I came to Damanur because I was uh, driven by the concept of self-sufficiency, of sustainability in the world and of being able to grow your own things and live in harmony with the nature, which I found here. But I was even more excited to find that it wasn't only that, but under the surface there is this big container of esoteric knowledge that made me really curious to stay in Damanhur and to go deeper to investigate what this was actually all about. things that Damanhur is most known for is the temples of humankind which is this huge underground structure that was carved by hand into the mountain here in Valkyusela. One of the main functions of the temples and why it is built inside of the mountain is because this mountain is a point where the synchronic lines are passing and so the whole temples in itself become an access point you can use in hundreds of different ways. Going through the temple is like going on a path towards a realization of the human potentials. Damanur is a really special place. I have never found a place like this in any of my travels. I've never met that much people either, in like not even in the main cities. And so this is really, it's like an airport for people who are also interesting people like scientists, artists. In Damanhur we say it's a laboratory for the future because there are for sure both ancient and new technologies and practices that we need to start using in order to create a better future for humankind. So we have, for example, our own currency system, we have our own schools, we have our own university, we have our own way of marriage. And it's a place where people from completely different cultures come together and live in the same house. And this is the living room where we meet. This is the children, this is Tartaruga, who is the mother of the children. And she is also, she is, uh, the children are also the children of my husband, so we are all living together. Me, my husband, which is her ex, uh, ex-husband, and their children. So we are like this big, uh, big family. In Damanur, people take animal and plant names as a way of recognizing that we are all part of an ecosystem and that we are not the only beings that exist on this planet. And my name in Damanur is uh, Celastrina, which is this blue summer butterfly. My real name before coming was Rebecca. I come from Sweden, I grew up in Stockholm. When I finished school around 18, I really wanted to improve the world in some way. I moved uh, to Berlin to have like a life that I thought that I wanted as an artist, but it just became very empty very, very fast. I realized that I wanted to change the world with other people. I didn't want to do it myself. I searched out for communities, and the first community that I found was Damaner. 
In Dhammanar, every person chooses their own spiritual path and I've always been very interested in dreams, I've always dreamt a lot and so my research topic in Dhammanar is about dreaming. Since in the dream world you have no limits in the same way as you have in this reality, you can completely expand your mind and push beyond what you even thought was imaginable. When I close my eyes and go from this reality into that of the dreams, for me it's like entering into another dimension. Dreaming is not an escape from the world, but it's immersing yourself so much in the world that you actually go beyond it. Something that I struggled with coming to Damanur is the fear of what other people would think about me. Even before deciding to come to Damanur, I was always the one who were doing like the craziest things of my friends. But there was like a limit. When you do experiences that are crazy, it's different from taking a life choice that is crazy in the eyes of other people. And something that I desperately want sometimes that they would understand but I don't think that it is quite understood. And then you're awake again.